Hi, and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. I'm pretty sure you've all had a mince pie at Christmas time, but have you ever made your own mince meat? It isn't difficult to do, and I've got a video from a year or so back I'm gonna share with you now on how to make a delicious mince meat. If you haven't had this before, you really should try it. A Merry Christmas to all of you, and I hope you enjoy this video for making mince meat. Ho, 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 and a big Christmas welcome to Steve's Kitchen. I absolutely love Christmas time because it's when I get to have Christmas pudding. I've got one here. I made this on my channel before. The video is up there, get across. You still have time to make a wonderful homemade Christmas pudding. But the other thing I love are mince meat, mince pies. Now, why is it called mince meat? Traditionally, mince meat was made with meat inside it, and we still actually put suet in there, which is actually a beef. Um, fat, you don't have to use the suet. I think because today I'm making a luxury mince meat, I am going to use suet, but you can leave it out if you prefer fully vegetarian. So come on, let's get on and make the most delicious luxury mince meat. Now, last year I made a budget mince meat, which was very simple and just as delicious to make, but this time we're making a luxury one. There's a lot more ingredients going in, so I've put them up on the screen now. Pause now, take a note of everything you'll need, and let's get on and make our luxury mince meat. Now, in the very simplest of terms, what we're looking for is about a kilo or two pounds of dried fruits. I'm using these dry tart cherries, about 200 grams and seven ounces. The same again of beautiful cranberries. Something that I think is really essential are currants. Beautiful black sweet currants like that. Again, 200 grams, seven ounces, sultanas. And I've got these uh, soft figs. These are just gonna to need to be chopped up a little bit before we use them. So in those fruits alone, we've got about a kilo two pounds and a little extra we're going to use about a hundred grams three and a half ounces of dried apricots which I'm just going to chop up and I'm putting some crystallized ginger again about 50 grams that's a couple of ounces of crystallized ginger and I'm just going to chop that up as well the last luxury ingredient is about a hundred grams or three and a half ounces of slithered almonds and this is gonna make the most delicious mince meat with the right spices. We're gonna be putting ginger, a little bit of cloves, some fresh cinnamon, whoops, and some fresh nutmeg as well. Of course, mince meat would not be complete without some alcohol in there. I'm using brandy. Look, if you don't want to use alcohol, you could replace this with a little bit of fruit juice. And we are going to be using, as I said before, my suet. We're gonna use about 125 grams, four ounces of beef suet, and our fruits, two oranges, two lemons, zest and juice of these two fruits. And I've got three Granny Smith apples, which we're just going to slice up, and they go in as well. So to start with, let's get all these dried fruits into a mixing bowl. Those beautiful black currants are going in there. I absolutely love currants at Christmas time. Uh, the same amount of raisins or sultanas. I'm just gonna chop up my figs and my apricots and my ginger there, and then come back and join me. Right, come over here, let me show you what I've done. I've got my apples, the Granny Smiths, they're just diced up into little cubes, and I leave the skin on, by the way. We're just going to pop those in with the rest of the fruit. The figs, diced up, nice and small that wonderful crystallized ginger. Pop that in there as well. In go the apricots, they're nice and finely diced. Our bowl is getting, you imagine how much sweet mince meat we're gonna be making with this. Now over here, that is the beef suet. It is optional, but I think it gives a wonderful flavor. It looks a little bit like um, almond meal. We're just gonna pour that over the top. Uh, talking of almond meal, I've got my slithered almonds here. Pop those in as well. Now we've got to sweeten this, and I've got 250 grams of soft brown sugar. That works out about eight ounces. Pop that in there as well, and we are starting to run out of space, which is absolutely perfect because we're very nearly there. Now, over here, I've got all that wonderful zest for my oranges, both of the oranges and two lemons. Pop the zest in there. All the juice from the lemons and the oranges, pour that over the top. 
And now we want to get our spice into there. You want about four teaspoons of spice. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of cinnamon, probably about a teaspoon and a half of powdered ginger, about half a teaspoon of mixed cloves, and also I'm going to grind some fresh nutmeg in there as well. Last thing, the brandy, but that's not going in until after we've cooked our mincemeat. Just come down here again, get in there now, and the best you can, coat all this fruit over with the sauce and the juice that's in there. Now, if you really want to do this properly, you've got to get your hands in there and turn all this beautiful fruit over. Now, if that isn't the smell of Christmas, I don't know what is. Ideally, leave this to soak for at least three or four hours and let the fruit absorb some of those juices and then come back, I'll show you what to do next. Now, when the fruit has all plumped up and absorbed some of that liquid, take a look at this now. What I'm gonna do is give you a couple of options. Either take that fruit, pop it into a big saucepan, a cup of apple juice in there, and just simmer it for about an hour and a half on a very low heat. Or you can do what I do, get your oven on 110 degrees Celsius, that's 225 Fahrenheit. And then what we're going to do is take all of this fruit, pop it into a baking tray like this, Flatten it down nice and evenly across the tray. And then we're just going to take some silver foil, seal the top of that, pop that into the oven. You're gonna leave it for a couple of hours on that nice low temperature, and this is going to make the most delicious mince meat. Now, whilst that's on, give this video the thumbs up. Get across and make yourself some eggnog or a lovely mince pie smoothie from my channel and join me back here as soon as this comes out and the smell in your house is going to be Christmas number one. So there you have it. Now that's been in for a couple of hours. Just pop it down there, get my oven gloves off. Now, if I peel this back, it's probably a little bit warm, not too hot though. See the steam coming out of there now? Now look at that beautiful stewed fruit. Now that's had time for all that fruit to get lovely and soft and caramelized. I just give that a good stir through. Now it's at this point I'm going to add brandy. If you don't want to add brandy into this, you can leave this step out, but really this luxury mincemeat should have. Now I'm gonna put about four tablespoons of brandy into the mincemeat. You could just eyeball it if you like. Then we're going to mix the brandy through now the smell coming off of that is absolutely delicious. So I've mixed the brandy through there. Now, whilst it's nice and hot, I've got some Kilner jars. You could even use regular jam jars and just recycle them. What we want to do is sterilize these with some hot water. Then I'm going to take my sweet mince meat, or my mince meat as I would call it, and start to pop it into the jars. And there it is, a beautiful luxury jar of mince meat. Smells fantastic. It's going to taste delicious. Now, if you join me in the next episode, I'm going to take this mince meat and make some wonderful mince pies. I hope you give this a try and please comment down below, share the love, give the thumbs up. And of course, if you want to make a more simple mince meat, there's plenty of other recipes on my channel. Everybody out there, be good. Have a fantastic Christmas. Love to you all. Take care and see you next time. Now, looking back at that video, I miss all my little Christmas bits and pieces we have at Christmas time. I've got a poinsettia plant here, which is great. I'm gonna leave a link up to a whole Christmas playlist and you can get across and check out mince pies as well. Many different versions. Be good, I will see you in the next video. Take care.